Hello guys, pretty recently on this channel I had a video showing the inline validation rules. So if you have some custom validation rule, you can specify that as a class or later in the video I've shown that you can use inline function. And some of you prefer one over another, but there is a third way. And I've been asked about that third way in the comments. So Amir requested a video, can we make a string of our custom validation rule? Like for example, you would have new rule and you wouldn't have inline function, but you have the string. Is it possible in Laravel? Let's take a look. So here's my simulation project with some validation rules. What if instead of that new class, you would provide some string like this? Where would you register that validation rule to have a string? So if we go inside of that validation rule, it's just a very simple rule of something returning true or false with simple error message. In real life, the validation rules are quite more complex, but this is just a demo. So is there some kind of kernel file like for middleware? So for example, for middlewares, we register all our middlewares in app HTTP kernel and assign the names. Is there something like that for validation rules? Not quite, but we can define our own validation rules with names with validator extend. And according to the official Laravel docs, the examples are that somewhere in the service provider, like for example, in app service provider, in the boot method, you can do this validator extend and validator, of course, then gets here on top in use. And then you provide the rule name and you provide callback function as you would do in your custom rule class and message. That message could be also placed in the language file separately, but basically this is the syntax. Interestingly, if we go to Laravel documentation, you wouldn't find that syntax. I had to dig a little bit deeper to find is it possible to have a string. So if you go extend here in the validation rule, there is no validator extend. And if you search within the same page for extend, it's just extends controller, extend, extend. So there's no such syntax until you go into older Laravel versions. So if we go to the same page of validation, but choose version seven, of course we get the warning that it's not the newest version, but then we go extend and we find that syntax in the boot method of app service provider. So I'm not sure exactly why or when it was decided to remove that syntax from the docs entirely. It's not in Laravel 8 and Laravel 9, but it's still present in Laravel 7. Although it still works in Laravel 9, I guess it's not the recommended way anymore because app service provider and generally service providers are for registering things and not about some functionality. So custom validation rules classes are the way to go these days. But if you do want to have a string for validation rule, that way still works in Laravel 9. And by the way, if you're not sure about those app service providers and other providers, I have a separate video specifically on service providers. All you need to know, and I will link that in the description below. And as I often do on this channel, I advise you to subscribe to one or more of my courses. Currently I have more than 30 courses, so you can subscribe to membership. And by doing that, you're supporting this YouTube channel for me to still continue doing daily videos for free on YouTube. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.